Alrighty, folks. Uh, first and foremost, uh, the patron shoutouts: uh, Albert Quag, Blaze Ridge, Brad Oldham, Brian Moten, Caleb Ellis, Corey Williams, Dark Sin, Frank Fan, Gary Core, Jeremy Helton, Joe, Joel C. Alcar, Alcazar, JT, Kevin Aaron, Kyle McPhee, Matthews, Rudy, Matthew Collins, Matthew Ewing, Rich Million, Sean, Simon Peder Pedersen, Suburban Hell, Victor Query, Will Catter, Ya Boy Fox, and Zachary Bradley. Thank you all for your support. Um, past and future and current patrons, you've all, uh, you've all given me more than enough reasons to keep uploading new videos. Uh, so yeah, thank you for your continued support. Uh, with that said, uh, from the title of the video, you know what it is. Uh, what is, what it is, uh, it is a campaign, which I've been, uh, announcing for the past, I don't know, like, two or three or even four months. I've been kind of procrastinating on it, I've, uh, kind of postponed the announcement, I wasn't sure if I was ready. But you know what, I will never be ready, that's just the story of my life, so I just have to do it. Um, yeah, basically, what it is, it's uh, called Melendor Chronicles The Undoing of Oderon, it's uh, my own custom homebrew world. Uh, it's a mixed brew of very high magic and fantasy and uh, Game of Thrones style politics going on in the background. I've been working on it regularly for over a year, and I'm still adding new bits and pieces every now and then. Between a sandbox and a full-on Hogwarts Express Railroad, this is somewhere in between, I think most campaigns end up somewhere in between anyway, so mine is no different. The players do hold a high degree of autonomy and decision-making, so you'll have plenty of freedom and player agency in terms of how you respond to problems, threats and challenges that I put in front of you. So yeah, you can expect, um, I mean, the exact distribution between the pillars of the game rests on the shoulders of you, the players. If you decide to fight your way through, there will be plenty of combat. If you decide to use diplomacy, you will need a bunch of very good skill proficiencies, expertises, and non-combat spells, and yeah, you will need all of them. Uh, and if you just want to go out and explore the unknown, the wilderness, you will still be able to do so. But uh, be warned, danger might be coming and uh, you may not even know about it. So on top of this, I do love the, uh, the RP aspect of the tabletop role-playing games, so the role-play, uh, probably, you can probably know that from my videos, from the intro stories and the cringe fest that uh, I start every video with. So yeah, I do strive to make my NPCs unique, interesting, uh, and you will be able to engage with all of these characters during the course of campaign. It's not just rolling dice and uh, attack rolls, damages, it's actually interacting with the world. Uh, in multitudes of ways. So yeah, I've been running and fine-tuning this campaign for the core group of uh, level 1 uh, players who are now level 24 uh, since August 2018, so yeah, almost a year at this point, a little bit less, like 11 months. Um, so yeah, basically, and yeah, we are exper experimenting with some kind of like third-party progression system. Uh, I will probably eventually uh, ask you to maybe use the same. I'm not sure. We'll see. I'm still not sold on the above level 20 things, but um, yeah, it's a possibility. Uh, basically, this like over the past 10, 11 months, uh, I've been I've had plenty opportunities to figure out the problems with my world uh, and the problems in my campaign, the pacing problems, issues. So yeah, I've been working on those. Um, I've been polishing uh, and the version of the campaign, the version of the, se the sessions that you will uh, be participating in will be stripped of all the bloat and dead ends that uh, occurred during my home game. Most importantly, you will have my utmost dedication. I take this hobby way too seriously for my own good and for my own health. So uh, yeah, you can rest assured you will get only the best version of my world. Me and my mental gymnastics on any given day. Uh, why would you even bother? That's a good question. If you've been watching my videos over the past year and wanted to try out some of these builds, uh, this campaign is actually a perfect opportunity to test them out. Maybe you had your own character ideas uh, that you want to play with, but you are struggling to actually find a group and venue to do so. Maybe you're just sick of constantly making new level 1 to level 5 characters and actually want to experience the full scope of the game by playing actual tier 3 and tier 4 characters for a change. If you are new to the game, new to the hobby, you will be able to learn uh, how to play the game and enjoy the process. Whatever your reasoning might be, 
when you join in for the ride you are going to play once a week for four to six hours depending on other people's schedules and my own and a bit and my own availability when i say you are going to play i actually mean it i think we are all adults uh, at least well i'm not sure about myself but hopefully you are um, and we can find at least one out of seven days during the week where we can all gather and be free for four to six hours on that particular day and enjoy uh, some online sessions of D&D. Uh, you will be gaining ample uh, XP rewards during and after sessions, equally distributed between combat, social encounters and roleplay to the best of my own ability and heavily depending once again on how you approach the campaign how you approach the game based on my own experiences uh, dming online and uh, in real life so far and dming this particular campaign i will impose hard limits to the amount of xp you will be able to gain over the course of a single adventuring day but rest assured you will reach and you will play a level 20 character faster than you expect and faster than you probably think on top of that you will be getting individualized mechanical improvements as you hit uh, the first levels of each uh, uh, successive tier. So at levels 5, level 17 uh, and uh, 20, uh, 20 uh, you will get what I call tier boons. These are usually some kind of thematic mechanical bonuses which I give you based on your racial and class capabilities. Uh, these are entirely uh, it's just my own... Uh, kind of like homebrew custom uh, rulings and custom boons so uh, yeah you can you can you can suggest them but ultimately I'm the one making the decision uh, I do like to give my players something that they are actually going to use that, which is not going to be just some kind of ribbon feature which they put on the character sheet and forget about like five minutes after uh, you will also be starting out with a custom magic item that I give you based on your character idea right from the level one so at level one you will start with a cust with a custom magic item um who knows i actually might find your character concept your character idea super interesting super sick and give you a slightly more powerful item than i probably should uh, i do end up giving uh, op items to my players because i like to do op stuff i like to drop op monsters at them so yeah i just like to i just like op stuff <laughs> I like OP, that's it. So yeah, basically magic items galore, very fast character progression, epic combat encounters, memorable roleplay moments, hopefully. I will try to do my best. Some of uh, some of the weight, some of the responsibility will rest upon your own shoulders. This is a, a cooperative uh, experience and uh, me as a DM, I can, I can uh, influence it a lot, but I cannot dictate the entire pace of the game, the entire experience. Again, some of that responsibility will rest upon your own shoulders. Hopefully we can all uh, join in for an all-in-one full package homebrew high-level campaign. So yeah, if you're interested, if you have any interested, interest in this, uh, jump aboard and let's get this party started. Now, how do we do this? How do you do this, right? Uh, Actually, it's very easy. Just go to my Patreon page. It's linked below this video. It's linked below any of my videos, pretty much. Um, there's a special offer that's running until the June uh, 30th. Uh, if you scroll down to the bottom of this uh, right sidebar, the iCast of Ish tier uh, has a summer deal online campaign, which if you join this tier until, or actually before the end of June, um you will be able to participate in this campaign that's one way that's a sort of like guaranteed way to participate in my campaign another way is uh, what i've actually announced several times uh, before i will randomly draw a couple of you maybe just one of you uh from this list of page actually not all of these are uh still active uh they will stop being active at the beginning of july but yeah never mind uh, I will uh, draw from the list of active patrons, so you, if you are one of those, you might actually end up just lucky and randomly drawn to participate in one of my campaigns. Now, uh, the amount of people that I will randomly draw is going to depend on the amount of people that pledge to this tier. Uh, if only like one person pledges, I will probably randomly draw like three of you, 
just so we can have a bare minimum like four person party but obviously if more people pledge uh, i will probably draw less of you but i will definitely draw at least one so one of you are going to be a lucky winner and uh, be able to participate in my campaign obviously if one of you is unable to participate due to schedule a uh, job uh, or some other uh, time constraints i will re-roll <laughs> right um but uh yeah like th those are details those are issues that we will solve um as the as they arise so yeah basically i just want to end uh by uh, saying we will be using roll 20 uh as our uh, virtual tabletop this is the uh, platform that i've been using so far this is pretty much the only platform that i'm familiar with when it comes to playing dnd &D online I've been DMing a fair amount of sessions. Uh, I've actually been paid already to DM some of them. Um, this is uh, this is actually a website where I uh, make some of my money on, and uh, I just randomly stumbled upon this job, as you can see from the title. I sent a proposal. The guy accepted my proposal, and uh, as you can see, three hundred dollars later and twenty eight hours later um he left me a flawless review so if that holds any weight there's that right um a little bit of that i also have a couple of these sessions recorded um but they lasted like five uh, four to five hours and i still haven't filtered through them so uh there's definitely a couple of very juicy highlights but uh, i definitely need to spend a day or two just sifting through all the like downtime and uh and 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 the periods of those sessions where not many interesting things happen where people just roll their dice and uh were talking to each other so yeah i will have probably a, a video ready with a couple of highlights from some of these sessions which i've actually been paid to dm um so you can actually see how i do it right at least uh, to a certain extent so yeah, I mean, uh, that's about it. Um, I would like to end this video now. It's already too long. But you know me, I talk too much. I just can't help myself. I just talk and talk and talk and never finish. Uh, once again, go to my Patreon page. Uh, scroll down to the bottom of the tiers. Join the iCast Wish tier. For a lowly investment of 30, uh, 30 bucks per month, you will get these benefits. And on top of that, you will be able to participate in my campaign um so four to five four to six hours uh, per session at the very minimum four times per month once a week i think that's a very very good deal um so yeah basically that's it a couple of you will be randomly drawn i'm kind of starting to repeat myself again so i will stop like share comment subscribe hit the bell button not sure why would you do that on this particular video but still you know the youtube drill that's how we do it over here with that said, Min Max Munch King out and uh, talk to you soon.